Hey fellow duelists, it's Raging Raid Raptor here, coming at you with another combo video showcasing some of the combos that the Raid Raptor deck can do now under Master Rule 5. So without further ado, let's get started. This first combo will start with banishing and tribute lanes in your hand. You start the combo by normal summoning banishing and then using it to special summon Tribute Lanius. Use Tribute's effect to send Mimikrai to the graveyard. Use Mimikrai to search a copy of Nest and activate a copy of Nest to search a copy of Pain Lanius, to which you will have to use those two monsters to summon a copy of Y Strips, which we will then use in order to summon a copy of Blackwing Zephros the Elite. We then use the remaining Raid Raptor monster and Zephyros to summon a copy of Force Strix and use his effect to add a copy of Blackwing Borrow the Spear to our hand. We then use Wise Strix's effect to set a copy of Rank Up Magic Soul Shaver Force to our field, to which we will use Wise Strix and Force Strix to summon a copy of the Zamorg Link 3 monster. I would now suggest activating Rank Up Magic Soul Shaver Force in order to summon Cyber Dragon Infinity and using Zephyros' effect to special summon himself from the graveyard by returning Nest to your hand and then special summoning Bora from your hand. At this point you could go in multiple directions to end up with different boards. You could use the Blackwing monster to summon Union Carrier and attach Mist Valley Thunderbirds and then use the Mog's effect to summon Avion for a total of 3 negates or Utopia if you summon the Wind Barrier statue with the Morg's effect. Alternatively you could also summon the Dark Zamorg to prevent your opponent from setting cards if they are playing Ulbrich or Altergeist for example. However if you backtrack to where you use Soul Shaver Force you could use it to summon Beatrice, Lady of the Burning Abyss, instead of Cyber Dragon Infinity, to which you would use it to send a copy of Rank Up Magic Raid Force to the graveyard, to which you would summon Zephyros and Boris of the Field to summon Utopia and another Utopia monster on top of it. We then need to activate a copy of Raid Force from the graveyard by sending a copy of Nest or another Raid Raptor monster in our hand to the graveyard in order to add Skip Force back into our hand, to which we will immediately send it to the graveyard in order to summon a copy of Utopia S0. And then I would suggest using some more to summon the Wind Barrier statue if you know your opponent is running Kaijus or Dark Zamorg, if you know your opponent is running a back row heavy deck like Trap Tricks, as they will not be able to set them, and since Utopia S0 can use its effect to prevent your opponent from using any card effects during the standby phase, not even Dark Ruler No More can get over it. The next combo involves Mimikrai and any extender that can summon itself from the hand. However, I should note that if you open with Tribute Lanius, the combo will play out the same, except for using Tribute Lanius to send Mimikrai to the graveyard, and Vanishing and Mimikrai in the opening hand will not improve the combo in any way. To start the combo, you will need to summon Mimikrai and the extender to the field. Use both of them to summon a copy of Four Strix and then use Force Strix to search a copy of Raid Raptor Singing Lenny's, but be sure to detach the Mimikrai as it is vital for the combo to work, to which you will then special summon Singing Lenny's from your hand. You then need to use the effect of Mimikrai to search a copy of Nest, and then use Nest to search a copy of Pain Lenny's, summon Pain to the field, and use either Pain or Singing with Force Strix to summon Y Strix. Use Y Strix to summon Zephyros from the deck, and create four strips again, to which the rest of the combo will play out exactly the same as the previous one. This next combo will require Vanishing Tribute and any two extenders. You will need to start by summoning both Vanishing and Tribute, and both extenders when possible. Use Tribute to send Mimikrai to the graveyard, use Mimikrai to search Nest, Use Nest to search a copy of Pain Lanius, Special Summon Pain, then Summon Y Strix. 
use Y Strix to summon Zephyros, and then use Zephyros and the extender to summon Four Strix. Use Four Strix to search Bora using Zephyr as the cost, and then use Y Strix to set Soul Shaper Force. After that, summon some Morgue and Cyber Dragon Infinity, summon Zephyr and Bora to the field, and then summon Utopia and Union Carrier. Then use Union Carrier to attach Thunderbird and use the Morgue to summon Avian. What we now have is a field where every time your opponent activates a card effect, you can negate it with the effect of Avian by sending Thunderbird back to your hand, to which Thunderbird will be able to re-special summon itself to the field. And you can repeat this multiple times since Avian is not a once per turn effect. And if your opponent normal summons, you can negate their attack, making an almost unbreakable board, with the exception of Kaijus. This next combo is designed for the pure version of the deck, and will include both Fuzzy and Raid Raptor Cool. You start the combo by summoning Tribute and Fuzzy. Use Tribute to send Mimikry to the graveyard, and use Mimikry to search Cool. If you have Nest in your hand, or vice versa, you will then use Nest to search a copy of Last Strix, to which we will summon Y Strix, but do use Fuzzy as link material for the next play, to which you will have Y's set as Chain Link 1 and Fuzzy set as Chain Link 2 in order to avoid Y Strix being Ash Blossomed. We then use Y Strix to summon a copy of Vanishing Lanius and then use Cool to summon another copy of him. Then we use that copy in order to summon Last Strix. We then use both Vanishings to summon Four Strix. Use Four Strix to search a copy of Raid Raptor Boost Strix. And then use Wise to set a copy of Rank Up Magic Skip Force. Use Last Strix to summon a copy of Satellite Falcon and rank it up to Ultimate Falcon with Skip Force. The reason I added Boostrix is so that we can protect Ultimate Falcon from Boros or Dragon and hopefully your opponent will not have any other outs to it. This final combo includes Arsenal Falcon. For those of you that like to play in OCG format or want to play the deck on Legacy of the Duelist, since the card is playable in that game. The combo starts with summoning Last Strix, and then use its effect to summon Raid Raptor Revolution Falcon from the extra deck, and then use Phantom Knight's Rank Up Magic Launch to go into Raid Raptor Arsenal Falcon. You then use Arsenal Falcon to special summon Tribute Lanius from the deck, but be careful to detach the Rank Up card from Arsenal, as the rest of the combo will not work if you detach Arsenal Falcon. We need to use Tribute's effect to send Mimikry to the graveyard, and then search Nest, and then use Nest to search a copy of Pain Lanius, then we special summon Pain Lanius from the hand. We then use Arsenal Falcon and another Raid Raptor as link material to summon Y Strix, and then we use the effect of Arsenal Falcon to summon Ultimate Falcon from the extra deck, to which the rest of the combo will play out the same as the first one I mentioned in the video after summoning Y Strix. Well that is my video showcasing some of the combos that Raid Raptors can now perform with some of the new cards available to it in Master Rule 5. If you have your own combos that I have not mentioned, feel free to list them in the comments section below. If you did enjoy this video, why not give it a like or share it with your friends? And why not subscribe if you are new here? It would be greatly appreciated and would help the growth of the channel as a whole. I've been Raging Raid Raptor and I'll see you all again next time.